everyone. So I've been watching some of other financial YouTubers doing a tag uh, 2017 financial wins and fails. So I decided to jump into this tag. Um, I will start off with my wins. So my the main debt I was working on this year I started at $12,073.03 and I ended at $5,741.96 so I essentially went I essentially paid about half of it this year um $6,331.07 and I, I mean I really wanted to go more I'm still going to count it as a win even though technically it can also be a fail um, for the fact that I didn't hit the goal I wanted which I wanted to have it basically paid off by the end of this year and I didn't I'm gonna grab some coffee real quick because I'm thirsty. Um, but I mean, I paid half of it, so that that's good. And another win was getting out of my car lease. I patiently waited three years to get out of my car lease. It was a I can't remember what year it was now. 2015 Nissan Leaf, um, which I didn't have to pay for gas, which is great. But I also had a $436 monthly lease payment. And I could not go where I wanted to go with the car because if, like, for example, if I drove from my house to 20-something miles to work and then back home, I couldn't easily go somewhere else further than my, like, small city. Um, because you need to charge it, and I only had a drip charger at home, and it would take, like, 8 to 10 hours to charge it. It was a little ridiculous. Um, but I got out of that, and my car insurance went down a little bit, too, for two reasons. One, because it wasn't a lease anymore. And three, I, I actually, um, one of my car accidents fell off in July. So those are my, like, two big wins. Um, also, I think this year I was doing pretty good on not eating out as much. I actually, like, for, like, when I go to work, I didn't go and buy food. I actually brought in a whole bunch of food. I pre-made a whole bunch of food. So that was another big win. I, so I paid like half of my loan, I got rid of my car lease, and I meal prepped for the most part. Now for my fails, <laughs> which all seem to happen starting September for some weird reason. Fail number one, I added three credit cards, and all of them are nearly maxed out. Actually, just kidding, I added four credit cards. <laughs> So credit card number one had the partial payment of my car. So I did get a used car. However, I didn't have the full amount to buy the car that I wanted. So I did put about $2,000 on a credit card. But the rest was paid for. It was about a, in total almost a $6,000. $6, it's $5,600? $5,600. And so I added that credit card. I don't know what made me get a Discover card. I literally cannot remember. And then I just kept buying things I didn't need or that I thought I need but I never paid back my card um an Ulta card don't get an Ulta card if you like makeup for any reason don't get an Ulta card you will literally blow your budget very easily and then for my car um the car that I just bought that I didn't pay for yet uh, or didn't pay off the credit card for it um it blew a head gasket and some other things happened I guess so it's at the shop right now and technically I had them I, I technically had the money to pay for what they quoted me at. However, when I went in, I went in with the check. Because my debit card that has most of my money is I lost it. But it's somewhere in my room. It's not like lost in the universe that someone's gonna spend my money. So I ordered a new one, but I only had a check at the time and they didn't take checks. So in order to leave my car there, I had to, you know, pay something. Um or had something. And so I got a credit line for $2,000 for car care. Hopefully it's not $2,000, hopefully it's less, hopefully, it, or at least just hits $2,000. It is an interest free for 12 months, so I want to pay that off quickly, so I don't, not interest, oh, delayed interest, because so, I don't want to get hit with that interest. I've, and that happened to me before, like a few years ago with like, was it a refrigerator or something? I got hit with $800 of interest, which was ridiculous. Um, and that interest rate is really high, so. So now, <laughs> I have a few credit cards, so I think if you add everything together, I probably didn't even make a debt, dent in my debt, which kind of sucks. Um, 
but I am still going to try to focus on everything. So I'm not doing technically the snowball method, which I know people are going to have some thoughts on that. I mentioned it in my budget me video. There's a reason why I'm focusing on one debt. And now my secondary debt that I have to focus on is that $2,000 credit line. So I make sure I don't hit the year interest. So I'm going to have to figure out how to balance that. I am redoing my budget from my budget for me in January because that was just added. So I'm going to go through that. Um, but I still really want to get out of the consolidation loan because it is locked in at $400 a month. And that's not fun. Well, it's $398, but still not fun. So yeah, I had a few wins and then I tail spun out starting September. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um... But I'm going to make another video um, with my, I know I mentioned it in, my, in one of my vlogmases, but I have it more um, focused on what I want to do for 2018 and my financial goals and kind of like financial resolutions for 2018, New Year's resolutions. So if you want to join it on this tag, it seems to be an open-ended tag. Um, it's just, you know, what what financial wins did you have in 2017? What did you fail at? And hopefully we all learn from our failures and not repeat them again. But, you know, it's just life. You have to fail in order to keep going sometimes. It's just something that has to happen. Um, but I'll make that other video about my plans for the next year. And then hopefully if I have some time before January actually comes, which is Tuesday? Monday? Monday. Which I'm not sure if I'll have time. But I might do it a few days into the month of redoing my budget for January so you can see how it's going to go for January. Um, but yeah, oh, I guess they actually have one more win before I finish off this video. Um, my, I have not had to put in my own money into my business since like, I want to say end of, end of August or mid-August. Um, which is great because I kind of started it or fully started it in March. Um, it has, I have my own bank account or its own bank account. It has money kind of really nesting in there. I have different savings account. It's a Capital One Spark so I can have different savings account. Not as much as a 360. Um, it did block me at some point for not creating too many um, savings accounts. But I have things split up in there. So upcoming things that are I know are going to happen like website, domain, um, you know, any, any expenses, I, I want every, I want everything to stay there because I don't want to add more of my personal money or I think they call it like an owner's investment into my business. So it's kind of just running itself. And once it hits to the point that I feel that I would be fine paying myself out, then I will. Granted, if something goes wrong, I actually have money in that account I can pull out since I am self-employed technically it's all my money so it's just I just want it separate from for myself right now um I am also trying to have I'm having it my own financial goals for my business which would be probably a separate video for my personal finance but I kind of want to do that for my YouTube this year trying to do personal finance kind of mixed with self-employment finance it's like you can have them together because it's all your money but some people like having them separate like I do um, just so it could kind of run itself so you're not putting in money there. But yeah, if you have anything you want to know, just put questions down below. If you want any videos you want me to make, let me know and share what wins and fails that you had for 2017. And I will see you soon. Bye.